Hello everyone, it's Kyle from Beyond and Back Travel with our next installment of Travel News and Information. In our previous segments, we have asked you what's on your bucket list. We have told you about how air travel looks today, and now we're going to highlight one of our favorite destinations in the U.S., Savannah, Georgia. Savannah is a charming southern escape where art, period architecture, trendy boutiques, and ghost stories are all set under a veil of Spanish moss. Savannah is a place where cuisine comes straight from the coast and cocktails are served at every meal. Come with me and discover the enchanting soul of Savannah. While visiting Savannah, there are three tours that are a must. The first is an architectural tour. Savannah has 15 distinct architectural styles with buildings dating back to the 18th century. The history of Savannah can be told through its architecture. Join my friend Jonathan on his immersive architectural walking tour. Jonathan has always loved Savannah and its architecture. Jonathan's tour provides a narrative timeline of Savannah's history by describing the city's built environment, Oglethorpe's original plan, and today's desire to balance preservation with a modern day city. The second tour that's not to miss is a Savannah ghost tour. Savannah is an old city founded in 1733 on the banks of the Savannah River. This town has seen a thing or two. Savannah's rich history brings thrill seekers from around the nation who want to catch a sight of paranormal activity. Savannah is America's most haunted city. Experience Savannah's spooky side if you're not too afraid. The third not to miss experience is a Savannah food tour. Voted as one of the best walking food tours in the country, Savannah Taste Experience has a food tour for every palate. Don't worry if you can't finish your cocktail at the restaurant, just take it to go. The city's open container law allows adults to sip a cocktail in public places in the historic district, as long as it's in an open plastic cup holding no more than 16 ounces. Although it is easy to lose yourself in Savannah's charming squares and beautiful architecture, there is more to see outside the city limits. Take a day or two and explore Savannah's beautiful beaches and Civil War history. As you make your way out of town, stop at the Bonaventure Cemetery, made famous by the book Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. The cemetery is located on the site of a former plantation that burned down during a dinner party. As the story goes, the guests simply moved all the furniture outside to avoid the blaze and continue to eat and celebrate as the home burned down. Continuing out to the coast, you will make a stop at Fort Pulaski. Located on Cockspur Island, Fort Pulaski is one of the best preserved forts from the Civil War. Learn about the siege of Fort Pulaski in 1862 and the Union military technology that forced the Confederate surrender and closed the port of Savannah. After a visit to Fort Pulaski, continue to Tybee Island. Tybee Island has been of strategic importance to Georgia since the early 18th century, which made the island's northern tip the ideal location for a lighthouse. The lighthouse was first built in 1736 and was the tallest structure at 90 feet in America at the time. After touring the lighthouse and historic support buildings, head to Tybee Pier and Pavilion to experience the resort feel of this charming island. Are you getting excited about Savannah? We are too. Now it's time to start planning. First, how can you travel to this historic East Coast city? Whether you're driving, flying, or riding the rails into Savannah, getting there is a breeze. Savannah is a great fall, winter, and spring destination. The summers can be a bit hot and humid, so try to avoid this period if you can. We find that December and January are some of the best months in Savannah. The weather is temperate, the crowds are manageable, and the prices are reasonable. Savannah is a city of festivals and events, averaging three to four festivals each month. Make sure you check the events calendar on visitsavannah.com to see what is happening when you plan to visit. This event calendar can also help you avoid some of those higher priced hotel rates associated with special events in the city. Did you know that there are nonstop flights to Savannah from over 30 airports in the U.S. and Canada? The airport is located just 15 miles from downtown Savannah. 
Haven't flown in a while? A few things have changed, and check out one of our previous videos about what air travel looks like today. Savannah is easily accessible from all points along the East Coast via Interstate 95 or from the West by Interstate 16. Need to park your car? No problem. Savannah offers a host of parking options. And remember, a stay at one of our partner hotels includes complimentary valet parking. Amtrak rolls through Savannah on its Palmetto and Silver service lines, and Savannah is a hub for Greyhound bus lines as well. When traveling to Savannah, there is no shortage of accommodations. Hotels vary from quaint historic inns to the brand new power plant resort at the end of River Street. Speaking of the power plant hotel, it is not only Savannah's newest hotel, but also a recent addition to the Beyond and Back Travel Hotel program. When you book the best available rate at the JW Marriott Power Plant, we can offer complimentary valet parking, which is perfect for road trippers, a daily breakfast credit, a complimentary bottle of wine, the opportunity for a room upgrade upon arrival, and the flexibility of early check-in and late check-out based on availability. The hustle and bustle of downtown Savannah does not appeal to everyone. If you're looking for a more laid back and relaxing Savannah experience, then the mansion on Forsyth Park is for you. Built in 2001, but designed to look like it's been there since the beginning, the mansion is Savannah's premier boutique hotel. The hotel is also a living and breathing art gallery with works from artists all over the world. There's also a cooking school on site with lessons available several nights of the week. Take a moment to explore all the nooks and crannies. The mansion is full of mystery and surprises. We hope you have enjoyed this little spotlight on Savannah and all the city has to offer. Please click the link below to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more destination highlights and updates on the travel industry. Thank you for your time and we will see you in Savannah.